Hello, here are some slides about the recent result uh, on quadratic forms defined by a set of sets. It belongs to a larger topic of energized simplicial complexes, but we deal here only with one of the consequences <coughs> of this work, which is an application to spectral graph theory. Uh, let's start with a finite set of sets. It's a very general notion. Uh, it could be a topology, it could be a sigma algebra like in probability theory, uh, it could be a simplicial complex like in topology. We see here an example of seven sets which happen to be a simplicial complex. <clears throat> the set of sets G defines a quadratic form L. The entry LXY is defined as the number of common subsets of X and Y. It turns out that this matrix is always positive definite has determinant one and uh, that its inverse is conjugated to itself. It's a property which is shared with symplectic matrices. It defines also a graph. We can look at the quadratic form as an adjacency matrix of a multigraph. Uh, gamma, this graph can have loops, actually always has loops and multiple general multiple connections. Uh, we see that here it's a graph with seven nodes because we have seven sets. There's a dual bilinear form. By doing the same thing with a, a set complements, we can kind of find a dual construct here. Alternatively, we can define LXY as the number of sets which contain both X and Y. <coughs> uh, this leads to a dual graph. In general, it's not isomorphic to the graph gamma, but it is isospectral. So here are the two graphs. The adjacency matrices are both bilinear forms, the same eigenvalues, uh, and uh, one is even conjugated to the inverse of the other. Here's another example, a larger example, where we have the Whitney complex of a house graph. So we have 12 sets, and uh, so it has produced this bilinear form in SL12Z. There's the dual house, <laughs> dual graph. It's not isomorphic, but it uh, has the same spectrum. In the middle, you see the eigenvalues which were computed. They are the same, both for gamma and gamma hat. <clears throat> so here's a general theorem. A finite set of sets defines a two isospectral matrices L and L hat, which are integral quadratic forms with determinant one and the corresponding graphs are isospectral. Here is an example of a set of sets which is not the simplicial complex. The smallest example is a comma com complex, which uh, has two sets only. So it's a two, this leads to two times two matrices, the Arnold Cat matrix. And uh, we see in this case, the graphs are isomorphic. Uh, this example is also illustrative because the energy theorem, a result which says that the, the inverse, the sum of the inverse entries of the green, of L, the green functions, uh, is the total energy, which is here the total number of uh, sets, uh, does not hold if you, one does not assume to have a simplicial complex. This is the smallest simplicial complex. It already produces uh, uh, isospectral graphs which are not isomorphic. So here are the two quadratic forms. Uh, the inverse is conjugated to L hat and uh, the energy theorem holds the sum of the um, matrix entries of L inverse uh, is the total number of sets. <clears throat> uh, here we see a larger example. Uh, G is the Whitney complex of a treat graph. We see here the two isospectral graphs. We could also do the limit take the Van Hove limit and go to infinite bound, get infinite bounded operators, uh, which have the same density of states, uh, define non-isomorphic crystals with the same density of states. This is the end. Uh, for more details and much more results, look at the preprint linked below.